Hey everybody, Doug Reynolds here, your Sacramento area realtor. Uh, today I got a really great guest uh, to answer some questions for us. It's, his name's Ryan Lundquist. He's an appraiser in the Sacramento area. He's uh, got all, he'll give you his info on how you can get a hold of him. Great web presence, lots of videos, lots of good information in regards to appraising. But today I've got a question for him and it has to do with disputing your property taxes. As we all know, the market has dropped a lot since 2005, 2006 in the Sacramento area. And so one thing that's important as a homeowner is making sure you're paying property taxes based on you know the real market value of today. And so uh, Ryan, if someone's thinking that maybe their taxes are maybe a little too high on their property, um, what can they do themselves? And if maybe they don't want to do the work, then how can they go about you know, getting some assistance to possibly lower their property taxes. Yeah, well, uh, hey, thanks for having me, first of all. Um, well, first, I'd like to say that property taxes are based on January 1st, 2011, or January 1st of any given year. So you don't want to just go to Zillow or some online site and say, here's what they say my property is worth, because what matters is what your property is worth on January 1st. Basically, what you have to do is fill out the proper form it's called the Application for Changed Assessment. That's an official appeal. And then turn that in to downtown Sacramento in Sacramento County before November 30th of, of the given year. And so it's really important to get the right form because there's actually a different form called the Prop 8 Decline in Value Form. That's not an appeal. You turn that in off of power in road to the assessor. Um, and you know, if November 30th passes and you filled out that form and not the application for change assessment, then you didn't formally appeal. So please fill out the right one. Um, but basically what you have to do is provide two to three comparables to show um, what market value was around January 1st. The assessor asks for properties between January and March and um, basically provide a good paragraph and that information um, fill out the form and you're set to go. Now, if you feel like uh, real estate is, is a little bit like an automobile or and you just don't know anything about cars and you want to hire someone, then hire someone local and reputable. I do run actually a tax appeal site at sacramentotaxappeals.com and I usually charge people about $99 to, um, to provide really solid information. But here's the deal you should only appeal your property taxes if it, is if it really makes sense for your wallet. Okay, about every $10,000 in taxes in assessed value, that's about $125. So if the assessor has you $5,000 too high, don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth your time. It's not worth paying someone. Um, when it starts to be $30,000, $50,000, $100,000 too high, that's when it really starts to make sense because then you can be saving $300, $500, $700 um, Per year and so uh, that's that's pretty much it that's kind of how the process works November 30th is the deadline but in Placer County the deadline is September 15th which is already passed for this year all right and so if someone wants to maybe get a hold of you for some assistance for next year uh, how can they do that yeah well feel free to give me a call at 916-595-3735 or look me up at sacramentotaxappeals.com thanks all right great thanks Ryan well, uh, go ahead and give Ryan a call if you ever need any assistance with any appraisal stuff or if you need help uh, appealing your taxes. And uh, thanks again, Ryan, for uh, helping out today. Clear skies.